Well, the Portland School Board needs to find an extra $89 million after discovering the money approved last year to revamp four schools wasn't enough. Mm -mm. Our Valina Jones was at tonight's school board meeting where they made a commitment to parents. Valina? Well, that's right. The school board says they are committed to making sure all schools planned under that bond will be redone as promised. Right now, they just don't know how they're going to accomplish it. They shouldn't be treated as second class citizens when it comes to education. Parents like Cynthia Nordic, whose son will be a student at Madison High School in a couple of years, are concerned about what their kids' classroom will look like after learning the Portland Public School District doesn't have enough money to complete planned rebuilding of the school. That we build these schools, they're going to be schools for 80 years. So we want to do what's right. A $790 million bond passed last year by voters under the promise that Madison, Lincoln, and Vincent High Schools and Kellogg Middle School would be rebuilt and renovated. Other parents at tonight's school board meeting say they want to make sure all schools are getting what they voted for. We don't want Madison to get the short end of a stick. The reality is Portland public schools are inequitable, horribly inequitable. People are leaving Madison to go to other schools and for every student that leaves, that's money that leaves. The problem is the projections show the district is $89 million over budget. Documents from the district show the estimates for the projects exceeded the money for the bond. We're going to absolutely go back and scrub and review how the original cost estimates were done. Options on the table include reducing the scope of the projects or looking at alternative ways to fund them. Despite the sticker shock, the board says they will deliver on their promise to all of the schools. There was a commitment to voters that we'd make critical health, safety, and accessibility improvements. Um, tonight we set the direction that we're going to follow through. Now, Madison's renovations are set to be completed in 2020, which means the board has to move fast on a decision. They plan to vote on their next steps for the school May 22nd. From there, they will start tackling the other schools on the list. Okay, no, you'll keep us updated, Valina. Thanks.